The buyout of British grocer Morrison's was supposed to be a dream ticket for some of the biggest banks in the world. Instead, Goldman Sachs and others ended up losing hundreds of millions of pounds. This is the story of how the UK's largest leverage buyout in a decade turned into a nightmare on Wall Street. Back in 2021, markets were booming. Private equity firms, aided by low interest rates and flush with record amounts of cash from their investors, were targeting bigger and bigger publicly listed companies to buy or take private. W.M. Morrison, a beloved British grocer that had been listed since the 1960s, became a target due to its unencumbered property portfolio. US firms Clayton, De Billier and Rice and Fortress soon found themselves in a shootout from Morrison's. While CDNR prevailed with a £10 billion bid, this left its banks, led by Goldman Sachs, on the hook for £6.6 billion. On top of this, Goldman contributed to £1.3 billion of preference shares, risky debt-like instruments. When it comes to leverage buyouts, banks like Goldman have a motto. We're in the moving business, not the storage business. This is because they don't want to hold the loans long term, but pass them on to funds that specialize in investing in risky debt. This is where the danger comes in. Imagine a company supplying milk to supermarkets, which buys it at a set price from farmers, but then sells it at a fluctuating market price to grocers. If the price of milk fell sharply, the supplier would take big losses. It's the same for debt in a leveraged buyout. The banks promise the borrower a maximum interest rate. If investors demand a higher rate, the banks fund the difference and take a loss. When Morrison's was underwritten, credit markets were hot and the banks were more complacent about their risk. By the time they came to pass the parcel, markets were falling apart and investors were unwilling to buy. While Goldman & Co managed to sell some chunks of the debt bit by bit, over the course of 2022, they've taken a hit worth hundreds of millions of pounds in the process. 